see. First, I was one spring chicken when I was pregnant with my last child. 43 years old, and I like to say now, I like to say, oh yes, Lord, my name is Sarah, but my husband is not Abraham. Yes. And, as the voice of the bears, as you're going to introduce me, he points out, I was the first woman elected governor of Alaska, and I'm pregnant. Man, I don't want to... I don't want to announce it because I know all the sourdoughs up there. I know a bunch of people are going to say, yeah, that's what we get. We finally elect a woman governor and she goes off and she gets herself pregnant. You know, she don't know. <laughs> I just didn't want to take, you know, a little bit of extra scrutiny. So it was just a nice, private, quiet time between Todd and me, God, our doctor. It was kind of sweet. And, uh, matter of fact, I thought I was going to go for the world record. So how long could I go without telling anybody I was pregnant? And I made it seven months. So that's got to be close to record. But here in Alaska, though, remember, it's so doggone cold that you're just putting on more and more fleece and more layers. And I know that my staff, especially, they were so nice and respectful. They never said anything about me getting all chunky and everything else. Are, are you really that cold? Should we turn up the heat? God, um, anyway, you know what? By the way, some of these internet bloggers, and this will, this will be the last thing I say about media, what they do though, but this conspiracy theory that my child Trig cannot be my child, and we call these people Trig Truthers, and there's a bunch of them out there, because I didn't tell anybody I was pregnant until I was seven months, and then Trig came really early, and I went into labor when I was in Texas, I was keynoting an oil and gas speech, and um, Governor Perry, he introduces me, and I do my quick speech, and, and I shorten it way up, and Todd's at the exit, and Todd's saying, come on, you gotta go have a baby, we can't have a fish picker born in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick Perry, as I leave the stage, and Rick's like, oh, don't tell me you're gonna go off and have that baby now. I'm looking at him like, I think I am. <laughs> Anyway, we make it home and I have the baby in Anchorage, but Trey came so early at seven and a half months that people to this day, some of the haters, they still say, that can't be her child. She couldn't have been, she was only pregnant for two weeks. 